How's it going, y'all? Rowdy Riles back with another video. Today we are doing something a little different um, with some of the figures that I've gotten recently. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that sometimes I get it and I'm like, I can't really commit a whole video to this. It's going to be like three and a half minutes. It's reuse. It's it's something everyone's done or seen before because it's older. Um, but I still want them. And, you know, this channel is about my enjoyment. If I stop enjoying my channel or the things that I do, it's like, why am I even doing it? So I'm like, I enjoy these figures and I want to get them out there because because I do like them. Like, they're going on my shelf. They're not fodder for the most part. They're bits and pieces are taken from other figures, but they're going on my shelf. So this is that video. It's I'm going to call it my Rowdy Roundup. Rowdy Roundup. Um, because I was watching Robo earlier. If you don't know, Robo don't know. Check him out. He's a great toy YouTuber, one of my favorites, um, and he does this thing called, you know, Play Day, where he gets all these, like, loots and hauls and, and just does it all at once, so I was like, I can do that. I have a whole handful of stuff, more than a handful. So yeah, that's what we're doing today, so let's get into it. So a lot of the times, like, I'll go to Ollie's, or I'll need a piece for a kit bash, or, you know, there's just a character I don't have, and it's super cheap, but it's an older figure. Or it's like a upgrade to one that I have something that I have issues with. Like for instance, the Scarlet Witch back here. That's uh, kind of leaning forward because my other one had warped legs and the new one on the retro card was nicer and that was, the other one was from the three pack. Cool. So I upgraded her the old ones right here and I'm selling her on eBay because I don't really need her because I have the new one. And I'm sure now that I got her, they will release an even newer, better one. I don't know how to fix lighting over here. There you go, you can actually see her. But, you know, there's certain reasons I have these and certain reasons I'm not doing full videos on them. Like I said, a lot of them are from Ollie's. Like, for instance, this Thor up here, um, he's got a head swap from the Thor over here. Um, and I gave him the Mjolnir so I can have him have a Mjolnir and Stormbreaker and have a better Chris Hemsworth. Because I think that's, like, probably one of the better Chris Hemsworth head sculpts. Like, especially from this angle. That looks really good. And then, of course, there's my Doctor Strange with the cloth goods and my Moon Knight with the cloth goods. And I just got um, Matt Murdock from No Way Home for my Spider-Man shelf. You can see he's holding the brick. And he was, I was waiting for him to drop lower, but he was only like 17, 18 bucks. So I finally grabbed him. And um, Bucky Cap, I wanted his shields. Um, so he actually has ultimate Captain America shield now. Um, because I did have the Ultimate Captain America shields on the um, 20th anniversary cap over here, but that Bucky cap shield is metallic and shiny and perfect, because I didn't know that until I picked him up, and I was like, okay, cool, now I have Bucky cap and a better shield, and I have a, sh a shield for Bucky, and I still have Cap's effect shield in here with all that stuff. So once we have the pinless Captain America, I'll probably, hopefully have my own perfect version and then there's the Elena that I got for like 12 bucks and I put Black Widow's other bracers on her because the articulated one has three sets of those and I have her with her Widow's Bite ones blasting on so I gave them to Elena and I wanted her because Thunderbolts and there she is next to Bucky right there and they just look cool together so they sit on my Avengers proxy shelf with like Red Guardian and um, US Agent and all that stuff in the back and then yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff up here, but there's kind of my reasoning. So, I, like, I don't want to do reviews for all these figures because they're older, and I mean, we already did some for Captain America, but it's like swaps and kit bashes and upgrades and stuff, so, you know, there's no reason to do a whole video, but I was watching everyone's favorite toy dad, Robo, and I was like, he does these play days, I can do this too, where I have all these figures that I did need to round them up because it's been a couple weeks of me going to Ollie's and getting some stuff online that I needed really cheap and just being like, yeah. So that's the top row of stuff. And then down here, you know, we've got some more stuff. We've got the MCU Kingpin in the back there because he was at Ollie's for 10 bucks. And then we got Quake because um, she was like 12, 13 bucks. And I wanted the, um, the weapons and the hand pieces and the other head sculpts. And I also don't have Quake and she's an Avenger at some point. So, you know, I got her retro card hammerhead, um, an upgrade to the old one that I had, which is right here. I did grab the older ones to show you why I got the new ones. The retro card of one just looks so much better. And this is like classic tombstone, but this is more like modern tombstone. And that works for my Spider-Man. Vision's cape broke, so I got him um, a cloth wired cape from GPS slot, which is where I got the Doctor Strange cape and the Moon Knight cape as well. 
And then next to him is his hubby, the Retro Carter Scarlet Witch. And I just like those colors better too. Like this one is super muted and that's from the, the Family uh, Matters 3 pack. Um, and she has more effects pieces and that head sculpt is reused but it just looks better with the, the photoreal paints. She looks great next to Vision in those really bright colors, which she was pinless, but you know, we can't win them all. And then Wonder Man, because he was cheap and I needed to get free shipping from Target for Venom, so I picked him up and it brought the total to enough to get me free shipping. Um, and then this, I do have, I'm looking for them at Ollie's, so maybe I can cancel the Big Bad Toy Store one, but I do have them in my pile of loot from Big Bad Toy Store, the um, Tracksuit Mafia, and I want to give him one of the masks from that because I saw someone do that on Reddit. And this is the chamber body, and I switched the feet from Hydro Man because I have the all clear Hydro Man, and I took his hands and I put them on the one. There's no way to get these arms and shoulders onto the other Hydro Man. I tried my hardest, but I swapped his feet because I had no recourse there and because the other feet were those suited body feet which don't work well so now it's guys that got some brown shoes so he stands better and once he gets that like balaclava ski mask he'll be perfect for getting beat on and they'll have the other tracksuit guy in a in the mask as well and then i have two goons for photography for cheap and that's cool so there's reasons i got all this stuff oh and there's mr knight because I've, i i'm a sucker for moon knight and it's just price ship going up and up and up and the whole wave was at Ollie's before except for him so it was just like and Moon Knight um but this, so there was like no way to get him for cheap but I wanted to get him before he went super super high and you know that's they made new legs for him they should have made new arms because those are pinless arms and they're too small and scrawny they should be bigger but those legs are nice the shoes are new um so like I said didn't want to do full reviews on all these figures it would just take so much time oh and the other thing about that um Charlie Cox Daredevil is. I also have this one and I know there's no one coming out, but the head swap works. Like you can, I might as well just do it during this video. So that's kind of the point, isn't it? You can just swap the head. It's not the best um, Charlie Cox Matt Murdock head sculpt, but it gets the job done. So it does fit on there. So that's, that's nice as well. But he is, like I said, going to be on my Spider-Man shelf in that suit. And also, like they have pinless suited arms here. So they could have it was around the same time, a little bit, but, you know, it is what it is. So yeah, there's my diorama and most of his glory. There's another level up there as well, so you can see all that. We got lots of room to put all these figures, and this is probably what my top ten for Marvel Legends is going to look like when I do that um, near the end of December, because I know there's still going to be more releases coming out, as horrible as that is. Um, so it's just kind of a test run for that as well. And my top 10, I'll probably have to go all the way up to the top. I don't, I, I don't know how that's going to work. My, my in general top 10. And there are going to be a few, one or two Marvel Legends in there. Cause some of these, like that Punisher is just so good. There's a lot of releases this year that, that Hasbro had no business doing because I've just been so mad at them the last couple years, especially what they did to Power Rangers and stuff. But it is cool to be able to swap parts, customize, make your own figure the way you want to see it like I added those straps and um some magazines to Bucky Cap and he is, does sit on my Avengers shelf um most of these figures are going to be on my shelves Wonder Man Vision all that Tombstone they Quake they all have a place on my shelf except for this guy he's going to sit around my diorama for photography but yeah all these guys are display figures it's not like they're they're fodder well except for that Thor in the corner there. He's going back to the drawer when I'm done with this. But all these guys have a place on my shelf. I did have to go pick and grab them off because I was like, yeah, I did all these figures open and I feel bad that I didn't do anything with them and show you guys. So yeah, here they are. So with all that being said, hopefully when I get stuff like this and I get a pile of stuff or if I'm just treading water as to getting the videos out to you guys, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a rowdy roundup. I'm going to grab all these figures, talk about them, show you why I got them do them one by one maybe not super detail super in depth but just a quick rundown um because i do want to commit the time to bringing everything that i enjoy to you guys as far as my collection goes so yeah if you guys like this video smash like hit subscribe check out the patreon for early videos you don't have to it's only a dollar um and you get access to all the stuff that's already done and not on the channel yet we're doing two giveaways 3.5 and 5k so check those out comment let me know what you think of these figures how your day is going if you like this format just what's up let me know as always i love you i'll see you next time and bye bye Mwah.